Pola Sinta. We're flying, getting ready to fly up there now. Fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly. Seven o'clock in the morning. Um, that's our villa over there. How perfect is this little guy? How perfect so is that perfect. guy? <laughs> it rained so hard last night. It was horizontal rain. It was kind of nice. Yeah. You enjoyed it? Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> we just finished our breakfast and today we're going out on the boat. We're going to three different islands. We're gonna explore a little bit. Yeah, uh, not sure which islands because all we know is Guantalo. Yeah. Uh, I don't know any of these other little ones. A little adventure. Yeah. For sure. water is so clear. You can see little angel fish below just eating. It's really pretty. Thank you. 
The wind's picked up, so it's coming through all the cracks in the eco lodge. And it's really nice. Yeah, we're in a, a great area right now, just relaxing. Yeah, we watched some um, tea, listen to the rain. We watched the rain come from over on the mountains, and it was just this wall of gray. It was actually really nice. We had a nap and woke up to the rain, and then Micah had this urge to run out in it which is why he's wet yeah. it was beautiful cold but beautiful it. he loved it i'm gonna play a kid again yeah so now we're making ourselves a little cinema room and we're gonna watch suits Greetings from the oh new. Oh my! <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> we're here in Stonehouse, Uba Ubud, and it's it is actually such a nice place. We are staying in a eco-friendly um, Stonehouse lodge. Our room feels so unique. Like, I can't even describe to you. I've never stayed in a hotel room a bit like this. It's um, not even like a hotel room. No. It's like, it's it's like a, you're unique. in a guest room. Yeah. They have dogs here Their as own well. dogs. They're actual dogs. <laughs> actual dogs. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're actual real dogs. dogs. <laughs> real life dogs. <laughs> um, and Should the whole place up. is gorgeous. Like, I'm yeah. taking notes for our future house. Um... I'm locking them in right here for when yeah, we build our dream home. This place Mark certainly Myers. makes me feel like the little things have been thought about. And um, each room or pod is so different. And each one has got yep. so much detail. Unique. It's so unique. Yeah. There's a pool outside. It. We're about to go to dinner. We had massages earlier. Mm -hmm. We really feel like a proper honeymoon, like relaxed. I've never felt so just tranquil and, and calm. So good. <laughs> I always look concerned. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. So today, since we've just arrived in Ubud, we're going to check out the rice terraces because that's a must. Yeah. Hopefully it's not raining, like, it's drizzling right now. But if it's raining, it means we can't take up the drone. Yeah. And I really want to take up the drone. Yeah, so. So, yeah, we're going to go check out the rice terraces and then go to hopefully... I'm making breakfast behind us. Um, hopefully go to one of the temples or a couple temples and then um, 
Yeah, and then we're gonna go to the um, some waterfall. Oh, it's kind of hidden waterfall. But a hidden one, because it's actually a tour it guide to see, who's uh, gonna take the us. And I've actually never seen a waterfall. I've never been to a waterfall, but we are from a really flat island, so I don't know. Kind of crazy. Cool. I'm excited. Anyway, stay tuned. Put in the water this, and then we dry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Around one minute for the coffee. Yeah, we roast around 45 minutes until one how much one kilogram. Oh. And then and then you grind it to yeah. make the coffee grinds and yes. then you put hot water with yes. it. Okay. How is coffee not more expensive? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh and that's what it should look like. Oh oh and then you Ah oh, I see. Oh you see that. So it's really coarse. Oh, it's um. Oh, what does it smell like? Uh, Ooh, cinnamon. Cinnamon? Yes. Ah. Coffee tasting. I need to do this more. The poop. The the what do you call it? Cap cap poop chino. Yeah. Cap poop chino. Enjoy your drink. Thank you. Whoa, it's strong. Yeah. Do you like it? Good though. Yeah. It tastes like candy. Like and drinking it's, uh... candy. Avocado coffee. <laughs> Lim back your body. Lim back. What a day today has been. Uh, we had an I mean, eventful one. We should address what you're wearing. <laughs> My digs. We got given some traditional Bali house coats, or you guys call them dressing robes. I'm wearing my Balinese sarong. Looks good. <laughs> but yeah, what a day. Started with amazing breakfast. Best bread I've had since we've been here. And then we had four things off of our list that we did in one morning, which was impressive. 
-hmm. Started with the Bali swing. And there's like this one generic one that's like a, apparently way Big too busy. One. So he took us to another one, which is even better in our opinion, because it was empty. We were the only ones there. But we had a, a tour guide from here, which took us around and it was great because he knew replicas of the Instagrammable places that look the same without the three hour waiting time. This guy took us around. He was telling us about like Indonesian plants and there were animals there as well and coffee and they got this great coffee tour out of it all. This was Micah's highlight probably. Probably. That was probably my highlight of the day. Uh, the coffee was is this it's called luwak coffee that's made from this uh, animal here almost like a mongoose that basically the coffee is made from their poop. Ailey got to go in a Bali swing and almost her pants. You can't see that. <laughs> okay, she was really nervous. She like, her stomach like dropped. I should tell Micah not to <laughs> refrain I got from... told off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let her take the reins on this next one. I... Just don't <laughs> curse in my videos. Simple as. My grandma's probably gonna watch this. Sorry, Granny Isabel. No, I meant Grandma Myra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we were saying that we went to the Bali swing and if you guys know me, you know that I don't like rides. I don't like anything that makes your stomach drop. I don't like turbulence. I don't even like a lot of car rides. Boat rides are struggle sometimes, but I went on the swing. For the what, Micah? For the gram. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we moved on <coughs> from there and went to the rice terraces. Yep. Which is a must-see here in Bali. And we got there at what, like 9 a.m. by yep. the time we got there? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't that busy. There was hardly mm -hmm. anyone. We were walking around. We took the drone up. Um, but then when we were leaving, it actually got so busy. That was maybe an hour or so later. It started getting busier, yeah. Yeah. And then we went to this temple. Um, it was really nice as well. Can't pronounce the name. Uh, yeah. Can't pronounce the name of the exact temple. We could try and find it out. But it was pretty nice. Yeah, they got a little tour of the holy water. It was lovely. It was really pretty walking around. Yeah, it was cool. And then from there, we went on a serious trek. Yeah, those hidden to waterfall. This waterfall. And I had like, I had these pants that were getting in the mud and I had my camera and felt like I didn't have like hands. Um, but it was so cool when we got down there. Tour guide uh, took us down on his bike halfway through it. Not the tour guide. The tour oh, sorry, the tour guide's friend, friend just, got, just happened to be there. Took us down his bike and halfway his and up halfway and his dog Nemo. Not Nemo. It wasn't Nemo? Nemo. It was Nemo. Nemo. Yeah, it was cool. It was a really good little journey. It was a good day. It was so good. Good day. But now it is, what, 9.30? I'm not actually sure what time it is. Like 9.30, and I don't know about you, but I am beat. I'm so tired. Oh, I don't want to go to bed. We're going to go to bed yeah. after a long day. And then tomorrow, we part with the stone house, and we go on to a little next, Airbnb. Next leg of the journey. Uh-huh. also like three dollars a roll. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh man, what a day of shopping, bartering, and then the price actually increasing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that happened. She said it was like 50,000 and then I went too low and I said, would you take 20,000? And then she said, no, it's 60,000 now. Okay, I'll pay it. So that did not go down well. Then we just chilled here. Micah went skinny dipping in our private pool. Rented a scooter. 
Rented a scooter. Scootered around a lot. Drove Back to the city lunch. center twice. Yeah. And then just ate at a sushi restaurant. Hey, now we're gonna go to bed in our fort. Good night. Can't wait to show you this. How do you like our floating breakfast? It's great. <laughs> it's very cute. He's less interested than I am. But this is pretty bomb. <laughs> Heard you want to leave this place where we grew up This old town, just put it all behind Remember you and I Would always find somewhere to hide When we were kids so we could see And hear the water run The river's gonna cry when you're gone River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Michael said he was thirsty. So we just got our bill for dinner. Less than ten dollars. Two pizzas, beer, and coke. Less than ten dollars. <laughs> so dinner's on you tonight. It's on me. I got it, love. <laughs> it's our last day in Ubud. <laughs> yeah. And this is uh, Micah's recommendation for yeah. breakfast. You're a happy boy? Oh, yeah. What'd you get? Breakfast burger, smoothie, flat white. I got the bacon eggs Benny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sabo Cottage. It's so cute here in Nusa Penida. And now we're just gonna chill by the pool, go for a swim uh, for the rest of the day. Maybe rent a scooter. Micah wants to go and explore and find somewhere to eat later on tonight. <laughs> It's 
Lisa has the duties. Thanks, boo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How bumpy this is. Only on the side of the road right now. Wait. Let's drive safely. How did people think that this is a good idea for a road? <laughs> you know what? More than one. Let's make a good road full of little rocks. <laughs> well, we tried. We went out there to Manta Point or Bay and Manta Bay. Unfortunately, no mantas, but even more unfortunate, this little one here got some uh, seasickness. And uh, she wasn't sick, she held it in, but uh, we had to uh, finish the trip a little early and just in case she. Uh, <laughs> but I was just saying to Micah that normally when you feel seasick and you, you can jump in the water and you feel so much better, but not this time. Yeah. It was so, so, so choppy Lisa, because it's not Lisa, the wind, Lisa. the current. Anyway, um, once you got in the water, there was still like no relief because you were still being like thrown around. And I just, my stomach uh, was so queasy. So we had to end the trip early. We still had two more points to get to. I just, I couldn't, I was so close to being sick. And it was one of those horrible feelings that you just wanted, to, like I just wanted the boat to just drop me on the side of the rock. And I just like cling on to the rock, like anywhere that I wasn't feeling any motion. Yeah. Uh, tough, and we didn't even really see any it. mantas, which it would have been so worth it. And I would have bombed all day if we could see some of the manta rays, but. They weren't out to play today, so we're gonna go chill by the pool instead. <laughs> Maybe a cocktail. <laughs> when my stomach settles. Some rummy and a very handsome fiance. Husband. Oh. So we thought we were coming to Kick Kick Kling 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 Beach. Um, the one that's supposed to look like a dinosaur or a T Rex or whatever. And we didn't, but we're here at Diamond Beach and it's pretty cool. I'll show you. I'm just currently holding on to me because I'm on. That was pretty, and we missed the crowds, but we did come to the wrong beach. Whoa, almost slipped again. So we gotta go track for another, <laughs> another hour where we came from basically on the bike. But it's a nice drive, so I don't mind. Yeah. Makes me want to do it and prove yeah. you wrong no. even more. <laughs> My hick is breaking it. Do you need me to hold your hand? <laughs> Keep going. mountain cliff ever. Nearly died about a handful of times. Mm, not sure I was right behind him. 
And what? And we're sitting on a beach. It is nice. Isn't it worth it? Ah. Uh, are you kidding me? I mean, it's cool. It's, it's definitely nice. worth it. What just happened? We almost broke the drone. It didn't pick up on GPS. It didn't pick up any signal. And just started doing, it started drifting with the wind. Didn't control it was it. going straight for the rock, tipping side to side, and then it went straight yeah. across the beach. I had to sprint across the beach as it was landing. It was yeah, freaking I felt it. sick. Because I was, yeah. It was when it was up there. Yeah. And it was, it was just going towards the rocks. And yeah. I was like, Micah, Micah, Micah. And you're like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. And then I just turned. Well, uh, I, 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 got, I finally did it as I, I, did, I did as I told it to. Well, we caught it. I was prepared to slice off a finger to like grab it. <laughs> anyway, no drone footage for us, and maybe not for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> just need to make sure it calibrates first. I guess. For now, we're just gonna enjoy the views from down here instead of. This is the aftermath of climbing back up. <laughs> that was exhausting. At some points it was just like this. Yeah. And you had to like you muscle just, your way up with your hands. There hand. was like ropes so that you could climb because there wasn't enough for your hands to like pull up at oh, yeah. some points. The hardest part for me was the heat. It was so yeah. hot. I was drip dripping. We, if we had gone up 10 minutes before, you see how it was so overcast before yeah. we left? And then it kind of started to rain. So we were like, oh, nice. That's nice and cool. Yeah. And then it stopped raining and it got so hot. Yeah. My face is so red right now. Same. And it was sweaty. But I feel good now. Worth it? Worth it. Happy honeymoon on our dessert. We're back at Amok. We like it, yeah. We like it here. Yeah. <laughs> um, out of the three days that we were here in Nusa Penida, two of the evenings we've come here for dinner. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. And drinks. And drinks, and yeah. Sunset. Yeah, we didn't get a sunset today because it was rainy all day, but you know what? This place is so nice. Just love the atmosphere here. It's great. Lovely service too. Yeah. Okay. It's my last tour. This is the start of it with a little swing. Oop. And uh, its own little, little lookout point. Here's a little day bed. And we're having a, a fire there in a couple nights. And this is the bubble. Pretty dang cool and nothing like I've ever stayed in before. And then my handsome husband, who's very sweaty after the track it took to get here. And here is our little outdoor shower. How nice. This is the bed. Wow. And that's our view. Whew. It's hot in here though. Gotta unzip the first one before you can unzip the second one or else it'll just 
and we're still crispy, a little bit burnt. Our beach walk got interrupted, so we're back in the bubble. It's raining. It's raining. And a red velvet latte. This is the Bucket Cafe, have done it again. Cheers to our last night. We arrived in Japan. We're on our way to Tokyo. Coolest train tickets ever. We look like death and we feel like death. But I'm excited to explore. Yeah, it's really fun. Best of Tokyo. We have like the day we fly out tonight. Top of the sky tree. Yeah. Wow. Thought we'd come views. and give that a visit. It's pretty cool. Out. Very uh, cool. Taking some photos. Crazy city in the world, I think. So, pretty cool to see all these buildings together. It's very cool. Please spread the cabin for departure. What do you say? <laughs> 